Hello, and welcome to another episode of How Have You Never Seen This with Danielle Soto. My name is Danielle Soto. I have a terrific guest on with me today. We met as tour guides at Universal Studios Hollywood. Everyone welcome, Katie Zeisler. Hi. Hey. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's my pleasure. I'm so glad you could be here today. So, Katie, before we get started with you, we have something to clear up. The trivia question from last week's episode, the answer was... 69. But back to Katie. Katie, which movie did you pick today that you cannot believe I've never seen? The Sandlot. And Katie, why did you pick The Sandlot? Uh, it's a movie that should be on everybody's list. Everybody should have to watch The Sandlot. It's a classic. Katie, what was the first time that you ever saw The Sandlot? I have absolutely no idea. Uh, it was something I watched as a kid, so it could have been... Yeah, no idea. Long, long time ago. Do you remember if you saw it, like, in the theaters? Did not. No, I watched it. It was at, like, my cousin's house or something like that. Never in the theater. Thank you, cousin. Mm -hmm. And last of all, Katie, do you think that I'm going to like this movie? You know, I was thinking about that. I, I think that everybody, actually, when they watch this, they really do enjoy this film. But I don't know what kind of movies you like. So, maybe? Okay. We'll say yes. We'll say yes. Fantastic. So we are going to make some popcorn, and then we'll be back to find out if I like the Sandlot. And we're back. We just finished watching The Sandlot. And uh, I've got some questions to ask. Okay. Okay, great. What did you think of the movie? I thought that The Sandlot was really, really sweet. I thought that it was um, funny and cute and sweet and there were a few points where i had some questions <laughs> for sure <laughs> like what is this movie about um and then an hour later but like what is this movie about it took a while to get into the plot oh like the yeah, like yeah. Okay. getting back yeah. the ball okay yeah, yeah, yeah. the You're movie's right. about a bunch of kids getting back a ball well yeah but it's also about like growing up having that one last summer before you're like thrown into adulthood. Yeah. So it's a coming of age story. Yes. <laughs> so this reminds me of one time when I was in elementary school, we asked the boys if we could play football with them, like, like touch football. Yeah. And they said no, cause we would suck. And so our principal at the time, shout out Mr. Dempsey, rounded up the girls, taught us how to play football like, we practiced really a cool. few recesses. That's really cool. And then when it was time to play the boys, they wrecked us. I mean, oh, it, was, so <laughs> I mean <laughs> it wasn't even close. <laughs> um, also, I think that this whole movie could kind of be like, I guess the message here is young boys need better intercommunicative skills. And older men. And older men. The dad. Because Dennis Leary, shout out Boston Comedy. Okay. Dennis Leary didn't know how to communicate with this kid. No. Then. He shook his hand goodbye. He shook his hand goodbye. It was really, really awkward. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> and then the kid at the pool couldn't ask the girl for a kiss. Yeah, she was a bit out of his league. That was just like classic. But then they got married. <laughs> well, yeah, later. I mean, she was much older at that time. I should have grew up. communicated his feelings. To get the ball back. They I think that's the main thing. Knocked on James exactly. Earl Jones's door and been like... They were misguided by Squints. Squints told them that yeah. that was impossible because he was the meanest old man. Yeah. Squints spreads rumors. Yes. Squints should grow up to work for TMZ. He would have been a good TMZ. Or Us Weekly. Yeah. One of those. He spreads rumors. Mm -hmm. And we all believe them. Oh, yeah. Actually, we believe them so much that halfway through the movie, Danielle was like, why don't we just... Kill the beast with that BB gun that they have. I saw it in I saw it in that uh, that uh, treehouse they had there. Um, so that made me uncomfortable. In retrospect, now <laughs> that I know the end of the movie, yeah. I'm glad they didn't kill the dog with the BB gun. But they could have used a tranquilizer. Yeah, that could have. So in conclusion, they should have either used their communication skills used the or used a tranquilizer. One of the two could have easily solved the issue of the baseball and getting it back. Verbal communication, violence. I mean, violence, trade clauses are pretty, like, non-violent, I would think. Yes! But the BB gun, that's... The BB, <laughs> the BB gun would have killed him. That was rough. Another thing okay. I want to mention... Please, please, please. ...is that this was supposedly in Los Angeles. 
The Valley, yes. The Valley. Yeah. And everybody had a Brooklyn accent. Yeah, that was a little odd, I realized there at the end, especially because it was, it was the, the main kid, Benny. Yeah. And then the other, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Sounded yeah, like definitely did. It. And then so did a little bit Ham, a little bit. Yeah, Porter. He's like... Hey, how are ya? Yeah, let's let's go down to the Grove and uh, get a matcha green tea latte. <laughs> and go to Runyon Canyon for a hike. Hey. I feel like uh, baseball culture revolves around like the Yankees and the Red Sox, right? It's kind of like the OG baseball teams. I guess. All in the East Coast, all in that New Yorker area with the yeah. New York accent, the Boston accent. And I think that kids probably looked up to like their favorite baseball players being in those regions and maybe sort of spoke that dialect yeah. because they thought it was cool. Totally. To yeah. make it- Would you say that this should be on somebody's like top 100 list? Like everybody should see this type of movie or do you think that this was silly that, that I suggested this? I think I'm really glad you suggested it. And mm-hmm. I think that if you've seen Little Giants and Ladybugs and... Has anybody actually heard of Ladybugs? I had never heard of it. You guys have seen Ladybugs. Um, if you've seen those movies, then this one definitely has to be in that realm. I thought it was really sweet. Mm-hmm. I thought it was really. I thought there were moments that were really funny. Uh, it. I got weirdly like, oh, at the end when they all like went off to have careers yeah. and stuff. It was really sweet. Yeah. So yeah, I would say that everyone should see this movie, probably with your kids. Okay. That's yeah. Fair. That's fair. I did watch it when I was a kid, so yeah, I, I liked it. Sense. Good. Yay! Yay! And now I have to come up with a trivia question. Oh, yeah. Before we wrap up, uh, we're going to do another trivia question for the next episode. So here's the trivia question about the Sandlot, and then tune in next time where you'll learn the answer. So your question for this week is, what is the name of the dog? Not the beast, Mm -hmm. because that's what they call him the whole time. What is the dog's actual name from the Sandlot? Katie, thank you so much for being on the show today. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. This was awesome. I hope you can come back sometime. Maybe we'll watch Sleepless in Seattle. Or you've got mail. Or you've got mail. Anything, Meg Ryan. Yes. And thanks for tuning in, guys. Watch next time. uh, And we'll see you at the movies. Maybe. I don't know. I don't go to them, so.